let me uh, present to you the uh, Titan software I've been working with for quite a while now kind of like it so let me show you the good and what I wish we had into this software I like it also because two orthodontists are actively involved in its development so we have some very interesting features so obviously you're going to import the local files the maxilla and the mandible and you will get them from your own computer in my case these are the two files and then you will get the files are now in good position two stls you can also decide to fix the model because on this model in particular you will see that there is some significant wear here that probably will be causing some issues with the aligners so i will fill this spot this is done so i'm going to apply the modification you have the orientation again i'm just showing you the software these are the buttons that you can use to change the angulation you can move right to left so i'll let you design this you can rotate flip and then you add the teeth it's been done already so you can see you can add a tooth here so you can add the teeth by clicking on the little green dots you can do the manual you have the same thing obviously you will have to do it you can do auto detection right here so let's do the segmentation now kind of a bright colors interesting segmentation is usually pretty nice you can also have a look i think at this part right here you can see that the segmentation is really very nice very fast and i think you can also brush and change what you don't like let's see so i can erase if i don't like something or maybe i can erase here just to show you so then you can add the roots of the teeth right here you can see them they are fake roots obviously and now eventually we'll get the condyms to work with the the roots but these are the average root size in relation to the crown size so we'll have the lower two and then you get to go to the setup and it's the same principle as others where you can move vertically i already did it so i can't really change anything so sorry you can move vertically you can move to the side mesiodistal you can move buccolingual if you click here you can move you can tip the tooth and there are many other ways of doing things so this is the tipping obviously if you go this way you'll have the torque so all these already incorporated what i would like to have is an option to select where i want the tooth to rotate around could be the incisal edge could be the center resistance center rotation or the apex i didn't see it anywhere but maybe i missed it so this is these are the movements i'll show you what i've done with this case in particular so it has 31 upper and 31 lowers and what i've done too is they were less upper than lower so i asked the, the software to give me a longer treatment for the upper so we have 31 and 31 which i like you can fix the midpoint collisions and the next step is attachments so the attachments are already put on so this one is a kind of a let's change this one for demonstration purposes so i will use a, a rotation attachment like this one again you can change whatever you want big advantage too is you can move the attachment you can see it you can move it in different directions you can obviously rotate it so you can do all these things that you are interested in doing and something i would also like is you can make it wider you can make it longer you can change the depth well there are a lot of good and what i also do like about these attachments as you can notice is they are our 
be not beveled, but they are all smooth. There is no sharp angles on this one. As an example, I'm, I'm going to make it a little bit less wide to increase the inter-attachment inter uh, distance. And same here, might as well. So all this you can do in just a demonstration. Doesn't mean it's exact perfect. So this is done. Then you have done the attachments. I think the labels will come after. So I'm pushing and you can add labels, as I just said. You can do lab labeling if you want to, so your lab will do it for you. You can also do over corrections right here. Can you see it? So you can decide on one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want. And you will see that they are coming right here. So that's kind of nice, I like that. And then uh, I'm ready to print. And that's it. So you can do a printing order or you can export your STL files. So I like the, um, I really do like the, uh, the Titan. I got two problems that I like maybe to be addressed and maybe I miss them. One is I like to have keyframes that are not present. So if you distalize or if you intrude, um, if you intrude uh, molars that you want to concentrate on intrusion and not move anything else. I like auto staging, but I also like keyframes. That's my first a suggestion and the second one is the center rotation from the incisal edge to the center resistance to the apex to really decide where you will be rotating these teeth around which center and obviously the force system will be altered so that's my two suggestions but really it's a, it's a good software and it's improving constantly from what i can see so uh, you can find it at titan Come, let me check and I will put it into the the, uh, the recording. But again, it's part of multi software now that are available for in-house aligner production. I have no idea if it's any better than another one, but it looks really, really like a good software. So I have no financial interest in this software, by the way. I'm just explaining what I'm being experimenting with about five or six of this software. And this is one of them and I like it.